Not many people get this opportunity, but we are lucky to be here with Cyberfest. We're gonna go see all the action. What's going on? Come with me. Fantastic brewery. We're so excited that they've let us do this and we can't wait to get in. Uh, I'm at Cyberfest at Full Circle Brew Co. Cyberfest, we are back in the tap room of Full Circle. About to try a delicious beer, but first I'm going to give you the boring introduction. No, no, it's exciting, it's exciting. We've got the owner of Full Circle, Ben Cleary, and we've got head brewer, Alex oh, Redpath. Right uh, they're going to take us through a little bit about the beer we're going to taste. Full Circle Looper IPA, they call it their signature IPA of the core range. Uh, so let's get right into it. Uh, ben, I'm going to ask you a little bit. Looking at this can design, it's, it's very different uh, compared to a lot of the breweries out there um, with the feel, the look. Uh, just take us through why, what, what went through your mind for this can design? That's right, so um, it's about 2,500 breweries in the UK. Uh, we wanted to differentiate ourselves from the others uh, and we went for boldly simple. Uh, you look at the Coca-Cola design, they've never changed their design in 50 years. So we went for boldly simple, but when you do come up close, uh, you've got a little bit of tactile varnish which reflects where we're from, which is the key side of Newcastle. So that's why we went down that route. Lots of people always want to know what's in the beer, what am I drinking? So, uh, yeah, what what goes into Looper to make it what it is? Yeah, I'll be quick so I don't bore you all. Um, but on water, it's a very kind of soft profile, almost virgin in New England. Um, yeast is a London yeast. Um, Malts, you're looking at extra pale, um, wheat, oats, and a very, very tiny bit of uh, crystal in terms of uh, caragold. And then the big hitters are the hops, which are citron mosaic and cashmere. Citron mosaic and cashmere. Excellent. Okay, so, um, well, we'll go into a little bit of what, what, what might those, what those hops do for the beer, what you might get out of them, but uh, let's crack ourselves and let's give it a go. Good idea. Uh, signature IPA, so... Uh, I mean, I'm thirsty, so let's get it. Crack this crack it. Crack it this time. Yeah, let's go. First beer of the day. First time. Um, <laughs> let's crack it, I guess. <laughs> you can still talk about the kind of design. Uh, um, <laughs> so, well, we've got some guests coming in. We've got some guests coming in. Let's have a round. Oh, best part of the day, this one. Got to tilt that glass. So far, so good. Oh, Tom has given a little extra, a little extra foam at the top. You've done it to the brim of the pipe. That was really good. Good pours, good pours. Um, so, uh, obviously, like, holding this glass up, I can't see through it at all. Like, well, why the haze craze? Yeah, it's, I mean, it's unfiltered, it's unfined, all the flavors kept in there. Um, there are some adjuncts in there. And, Wheat and oats, uh, which I'll give it its mouthfeel um, and uh, its body. Um, but we're not going to find this, we're not going to try and make it bright, it drops our flavour. Um, this is kind of exactly what I love to drink, and uh, that's why it is, it's this hazy, and the colour is, is pretty much down to the extra pale and a tiny bit of uh, um, crystal in there. Uh, so, uh, you know, obviously we see the side of the beer, uh, let's, let's give it a bit of a sniff. Let's, uh, let's see what we can get out of, out of the aroma. Oh. 
And you know what? When you fill that, that glass, it's a little too full. <laughs> Get a little on the snot. Wow. Wow. Um, so, I mean, you really got your nose in there now. So, what are you picking up? That's a very professional technique there. Um, the, the quick dip. The quick dip. Um, <laughs> it adds to the thing. So, what I'm hoping people get out of it is a lot of citrus, specifically lemon and lime, a bit of grapefruit zest, um, or just grapefruit in general, maybe even a hint of tangerine at the back. Um, that's what I get on the nose anyway. Uh, I mean, Tom? Bubblegum? I mean, I read <laughs> that you can get a little bubblegum off uh, cashmere or mosaic. <laughs> Or, or oh, one, one, of the, one, of the, one of the three. I, I, I did a little bit of research, uh, but my notes are gone. Um, so if you're getting a little bubble gum, <laughs> don't think you're crazy. Uh, but yeah, let's let's go in, let's dive in, let's have a sip. Uh, let's let's get the full flavor. Let's get the full effect. Alex is over six feet tall, so his <laughs> sips are like our chucks. Just want to just talk us through what uh, what we might be getting in the in the taste buds. Yeah, there. of course. I mean, uh, I'd start with just a very soft mouthfeel. Um, so we've gone with a kind of New England style look profile on there, um, which makes it very soft and uh, very smooth bitterness on that. Um, quite a nice body, so that's where the wheat and the oats come in. And then you're looking at the hot profile on top of that, which is kind of citrusy, tangerine -y, um, a bit of grapefruit pith, um, it's quite a nice, well-rounded beer. Yeah. Um, no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> Take one. Too big for it. <laughs> they have scooters over there, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, I'm getting a lot of grapefruit through that. <laughs> Uh, Cyberfest, we really hope you enjoyed uh, having a beer with us at Full Circle uh, with Ben Cleary, Alex Redpath, and me, Tom Maroon. Uh, yeah, enjoy the looper, enjoy the rest of Cyberfest, uh, and we hope to you know, see you guys drinking more Full Circle beers in the future. Yeah, yeah. please come visit us. Cheers. 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 The looper Ball! <laughs> looper Ball. Why Looper Ball? <laughs>